Ready? Say what? The Xerox Alto workstation. This is a Xerox Alto uh, 2. It really says one on the documentation, but when Dr. Alan Kay, who was there at the time, says it's a two, I believe him. It's a very famous workstation. 1975, there were 150 of these networked in two buildings in Palo Alto, California. It was the fourth largest network in the world. The three largest networks in the world were the United States government, the British government, the French government and two buildings in Palo Alto made up the fourth network. Now that's not why it's famous. Why it's famous was this was the first system that on its desktop, what we now call a desktop, had GUIs, GUI, graphical user interfaces, which we now call icons. The whole idea of being able to take a file on your desktop, drag it into a folder, open and close the folder, move the folder, create an alias, if you will, or a shortcut. All of that was developed on this workstation. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak visited Xerox Park in 1979 for a demonstration. Some of the Xerox Park developers were so upset they threatened to quit. But the president of Xerox at the time was in New York. And when he answered the people in Palo Alto who said, no, we won't show it, he said that uh, we don't care if the president of a $20 million a year company, Apple Computers, takes a look at what you've got on your Alto workstations. We do a billion dollars a year of business, and we're a copying company, not a computing company. Of course, people forget that Xerox owns 5% of Apple, did at the time, still does. Some people say it's the most successful part. But the story is Jobs and Wozniak took the concept that they saw on this system back to Apple, developed their own user interface for their new line of computers, the Macintosh. And what you saw on the 1984 Macintosh is pretty close to what you see on the uh, Macintoshes of today. So the apocryphal story is Jobs and Wozniak stole the idea from Xerox, and there's a certain truth in that. Along came Windows 95 with a whole new desktop for Windows systems, and the Windows 95 desktop was almost a mirror image of what was on the Macintoshes in 1985. So again, another apocryphal story with some truth in it is that the Windows developers stole the concept from Apple. Who knows what's true or not true? But it makes a good story that instead of a three-way play in baseball, you went from Xerox Park and their interface 